I've played basketball for 14 years. I didn't play high school basketball until my sophomore year. Once I started playing high school basketball, that was kind of when I started really getting myself into weightlifting. I tried whenever I was about 12 years old. I got my first Bowflex. Didn't really do much with it. I just kind of, it just sat there like this. Got rid of it and I turned 16. Started playing basketball. We were doing stuff called P90X and then we just did like dumbbell stuff. Then once we hit the, right, the weight room, it was something felt, I felt something in the weight room that I hadn't felt before. Well, ended up quitting basketball and, well, got cut from basketball and started playing football. That's when I started getting into it heavier because with football you train your body, that way you lift more, you prevent injuries. Had kind of a career ending injury that kept me sidelined for the spring going into my senior year. And I decided to hang up the pads and call it quits. Well, now, two years later, I started weightlifting again. I got out of it because I really didn't see a point in it. I just kind of was like doing it, going through the motions. Didn't really see any change in myself. Into it a year ago, it was like I saw more progress in two weeks in myself and not only weight, but figure wise. I told myself this is what I've been doing. I've been doing it for the past six months heavily. Growing up, I was always the kid that was bullied. I was short, not really skinny, but undersized, laughed at kind of. Everybody knew me as, no one really knew me. They always knew me as my sister's little brother. Well, I decided to make a change. So weightlifting does more than just exercise. It's kind of a stress reliever. Whenever I get mad, go to the gym. Whenever there's something on my mind, go to the gym. Weightlifting to me is more than just throwing around weights. It's about changing who you are, finding who you are, and ultimately, you can find yourself that way. And that's what weightlifting is to me. Right now we're at the bench press. It's a simple bench press. It's a simple move. You just grip about shoulder length apart, and you just come down to about a 90 degree angle or until you feel a stretch in your chest. I kind of like to start out getting a stretch in my chest before I go heavy weight. And then on your way up, you just exhale and just push. And it's more than just your chest. You get to incorporate your lats, your shoulders, even a little bit of triceps in there. You feel it if you're doing it right. And we'll get to it. First off, I like to kind of put my fingers or thumbs right where, right here, kind of where the grips and the bar actually meet. That way it gives me a good distance apart. It's about shoulder length. Move it, if you move it all the way up to these things, it's easier to get up off the bar easier. Whereas if it's back here, you have a further length to go getting it over. So I'll roll it back up here for us. Once you're up here, you're in your normal position. You come down, and now you're in the bottom position. And now you just explode up. Pretty easy, simple. It's just a one motion. That's all you do for a bench press. Now we'll see what you do for a squat. All right, now we're on the squat. Squats are relatively another simple one, probably one of the most common exercises. It exercises the top portion of your legs. And how we get into the squat, here I'll back up a little bit. You'll place the bar on your trapezoids. Your legs are gonna be about shoulder width apart. 
and you're wanting to stick your butt out, chest up, that way you're not hurting your back. You'll come down, kind of like you're sitting on a toilet. You want to get kind of go as low as you can go, kind of like right before the right angle, and then you just explode up. This is one of the exercises where you, your goal is to jump off the ground. That, that's what your body wants you to do. You want to feel like you're going to jump up. And I'll demonstrate right now. Feet are shoulder width apart. Chest is up, coming down. I'm in my position. Explode up. Key to this one though, is always keep your heels on the ground, toes pointing forward. I'll do it one more time. 